Steven. Welcome to Korean from Zero. My name is Margarita and I guess we're gonna be learning some Korean today. As for what I want to share with you today, it is something that's been boggling my mind ever since I learned how to say I want to do something in Korean. First and the most simplest way to say I want to whatever is to use go shipta. Go shipta is a super simple addition to any verb because you don't even need to worry whether your verb ends on a vowel or a consonant or just anything because it's all the same. You take a verb like kada or mokta, just take away the da and you end up with kago shipta or moko shipta. All right, so now that we figure out how to add go shipta to verbs, what ends up happening is that we end up having another verb in an infinitive form. Kago shipta. We have this da ending which doesn't really fit into a regular sentence because we need to conjugate shipta to make a coherent sentence. Even though we need to conjugate it, it's still super simple. Let's take a simple verb like hada, adding go shipta, hago shipta, and then conjugating it would be hago shippoyo in present tense. If you want to say that you wanted to do something in past tense, all you gotta do is add a past tense conjugation to shipta and you're done. So what you end up having is hago shippossaya. An interesting little nuance comes in when we are talking about things that we don't want to do. So we're adding a negative element to the wanting part. <laughs> what I happen to notice, even in English, is when we say, I don't want to do blah, 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 we end up with three verbs in a row in just one sentence. I don't, don't is a verb, want, another verb, to do, another verb. Same thing happens in Korean, yet the verbs end up kind of being merged together using different particles. So, when we take a verb hada, we take away the da, and then we add go shipta, another verb, so we end up with hago shipta, but then to make it negative, we need to add jianta, which is yet another verb with a particle in the front. So, pff, this sounds complicated, but at the end, it's pretty simple. We end up with hago shipji anta. And then, because we have the da, we need to conjugate it, and we end up with hago shipji anayo. In the present tense, in the past tense, hago shipji anasayo. All right? Was that clear? I really hope so. Let's go to examples. They always make things much more clear. So if I want to say that I want to eat something sweet, I can say tan gosu mogo shippoyo. Tan, sweet, got, thing. Gosu is object marking particle, and then we have mogoshipoya, which is I want to eat. In past tense, you'd say something like oje yongwaru pogoshipossoyo. I wanted to watch a movie yesterday. Here's an example of how to say something that you don't want to do in present tense. Mekjuru mashigo shipji anayo. I don't want to drink beer. And in past tense, you would say something like tonaru pakko shipji anasoyo. I didn't want to pick up my phone. All right, now that I've walked you through the basic of go shipta, which expresses our intent or will to do something, there is actually another way to express a similar intent or will. And those of you who have been studying Korean for at least some time, you guys probably know what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you guys have also been confused when to actually use it. Yes, it is exactly what both of us are thinking. It is leo. So let's look at how we form sentences with leo. It's quite simple to add to verbs as well, however, we need to keep in mind a couple of things. For example, when we have a verb ending on a consonant like mokta, all we do is we add leo. So what we end up with is mogleo. When we have a verb that ends on a vowel like kada, we just add dil to the end of the syllable and then leo. So what we end up with is kaleo. There are gonna be some verbs that actually end on a deal, like palda to sell. And with those, it's very simple. You just add leo to them and you're done. So you'll end up with paleo. And the way to use it is to form sentences like honja leo or chibe kaleo, chanyogul mogul leo. So now let's talk about contextual differences between using leo and goshita. Both of them technically mean I want to do, I have an intention, I have a will to do something. So let's take a simple example. Chibe kaleo and chibe kago shippoyo. Both of them mean I want to go home. However, when you use chibe kaleo, it's more of a, your mind is totally made up. You are going home and you know it, there's no turning back. But when you say chibe kago shippoyo, it's more like, I just want to go home. It's very vague, it's very general. You don't necessarily need to be going home at that specific moment. You are just 
wishing to go home for whatever reason. Maybe you want to go home, but you can't right now because you're still at work or you want to go home because there is some kind of emergency, whatever it is. What I'm trying to say is that when you use there is going to be more context and more factors present and you're probably not going to be using it on its own. Like you won't just say without saying anything further. Whereas with you can just say that's it. That means I'm going home, I'm gonna get up, there's no turning back, my mind is made. Another big difference is that leo is very casual, so you can't really use it with people that you should be formal with. Even though it ends on a yo, there is no way to make it more formal, there's only way to make it even less formal. So you can just say chibikale. But that you would use only with people who you're very, very comfortable with, you've established a very casual relationship, you decided to drop all the honorifics, so yeah, don't use it with your coworkers, bosses, parents, and even strangers, like people that you wouldn't normally speak informally with. When it comes to gosita, you can vary the degree of formality. You can start with something very casual, like chibikagoshippo. Then you can make it more formal, chibikagoshippo yo. But then you can also make it very formal, like chibikagoshipsunida. And just in general, using the gosita form makes it more polite, more general. So. It would be acceptable in more situation than a leo. You can also ask questions using both of these forms. Like you can ask someone that you're talking to, do you want to do something? And I noticed that when you use a leo, it's kind of a little bit more casual once again. It's not really demanding in terms of, oh, I need an answer from you right now. So when I'm in a cafe and I'm asking someone, what was leo? Like, what do you want to drink? Do you even want to drink? But then I feel when I'm asking, it's kind of, first of all, it sounds kind of awkward. I don't know, I maybe would say that to, once again, someone that I need to speak formally with. Hopefully, this was somewhat clear. If you guys have any questions, let me know, or let the guys from Korean From Zero know. We're all there to answer all your questions and help you learn Korean. All right, so I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope you're studying hard, you're having a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Bye! Annyeong!